I'm going to show you how to set the server logging verbosity. This section of the JBoss documentation explains how to toggle the root logger level at runtime without bouncing the server. I'm going to demonstrate how to do this in standalone mode and domain mode, as well as how to do it using the standalone XML configuration file. You might want to do this if you have a problem with your server and you don't know what's going on and you want to get more information. So first of all, I'll show you how to set it using the standalone XML configuration file. Find the section that says root logger and change it from its default setting of info to debug. Remember, whenever you change the standalone XML file, you should have the server shut down. After you've made your configuration changes, start up the server. So if I tail the server log now, you can see that instead of only getting info mess level messages, we're also getting debug level messages. This is the desired behavior. Notice how the console only shows info level logging, but when we're tailing the log file, we see debug level logging. You can set the console and file appender into separate from each other. So if we look again at the standalone XML file, here's the console appender, and here's the file appender. This one's going to server log, and this one's just going to stand it out. This one's still logging at info level because it's got a level defined for the whole handler. So let's remove this and see if we also get debug logging on the console. I'll we'll have to restart the server to pick up those changes. Now you can see that the console is also logging at debug level. Next I want to show you how to do it using the JBoss CLI. The JBoss CLI is a convenient feature because it allows you to set the logging at runtime or as well as change other configuration. So the path to find how to set the logger is this one, subsystem logging root logger root. And if you do a read resource, you can see the current level. Now, after you've done read resource, if you use the change log level command with level set to the new level you want, this in this case, I'll change it back to info. You can set the logging level at runtime. And if I do another read resource, I can see it's back to debug. So now if we deploy an application, we can see that uh, the logging level decreased from debug to info. I'll just enable the application now and switch back to the tail of the server log. And there you can see I didn't get any debug level messages about deploying the application. So the last thing I want to show you is how to do it in domain mode. Now, if you recall from previous sections, domain mode is basically made up of a few server profiles and you assign server groups to one of the profiles and add servers to those server groups. So what I've done here is I'm tailing the server one log, which is using the full profile. Then if I want to update the configuration, I'm going to use the CLI and before I go into the logging subsystem, I have to select the full profile. So let me just start up the JBoss CLI now. See, I go profile full, and then I can go into my subsystem and change the logging level as I did with the standalone configuration. I'll set the log level to debug this time since it would have been an info by default. And I can check that if I go back to the console and remove my application or redeploy my application. I have the application deployed and I have it already in the server group. So if I remove that application, then I go and have a look at my logs and I can see there was some debug level logging. So that's how to add or change the verbosity of the logging in JBoss AS7.